G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, today I was going to have a go at Antonio when he was looking at the Apollo hammer feather drop thing, but he went and put his ugly mug right in front of it all, so couldn't see anything. What was the point? Well, first off, I want to have a look at the sail drone. Um, DMC1 put me onto this a while back, and he's just showed me again that the um, one sail drone has made it made its way all the way from the South Island of New Zealand, has done a full circumnavigation of the globe, and it's returned. It's all the way back again. So it left on the 19th of January 2019 and came back exactly 109 days later on the 3rd of August. Now this trip was fully GPS logged the whole way. The little sail drone was in full communication via satellite, so it was telling us a whole pile of data along the way and you can actually jump in and grab the public data set which is what I did and I made a KML file out of it so Antonio that's in the description so you can go and grab that and then you can go and load it up into your Google Earth and you can play Cutty Sark with that all you like so what you're going to have to look for is it's gone about 25,000 kilometers as it went all the way around and of course it didn't need to sleep as it was going because it was just a robot and it just chugged along and oh look I'll even do the maths for you because I know you're not real good with maths so it works at about 5.2 kilometers per hour and also in the description I'll leave a nice little calculator there that will enable you to calculate the radius of the earth so at 40 degrees south the radius is around 30,000 kilometers at uh, 50 degrees south it's now 25,000 and at 60 it's only 20,000 south um, degrees sorry 20,000 kilometers circumference at 60 degrees south so that's roughly half of what it is at the equator which means that um, on a uh, flat earth distances on a flat earth globe that's going to be even greater than the 40,000 kilometers at the equator probably more like 60 to 80,000 so it's probably around four times the distance that it traveled so there's really no way on a on this flat earth that it's going to have gone that distance in that time the next bit of fun thing i want to have a look at is uh a rocket launch that Red's Rhetoric did just the other day and he is doing really really great stuff with his uh, P1000 and, and cataloging these rockets we great thanks from all of us Red for what you've done here this one is a particular one that often flatties seem to fail when they watch a rocket launch go up they have this massive perspective fail they see it go up and then think it comes back down again well let's just check this out as it goes up and then it does appear to come back down but but wait, why is the up trail unlit and the down trail fully lit by sunlight? How could that be? Could it be that the down trail is not coming down at all, but it's actually going away from us and it's up really high and really fast in the full sunlight as it dropping, appearing to drop as it now starts to follow the curve of the earth? Interesting, hey? And then on the same rocket launch, Scott Manley, love Scott, Scott's work, he showed the fairing deployment from the camera that was on the rocket. Now the rocket was going up and because it was slightly delayed and it was a dawn launch, the rocket was actually headed straight into the sun, which meant that the camera looking down along the rocket was looking into the exhaust plume, which was now fully lit by the sun coming from behind it. And in that shadow, you could actually see the shadow of the rocket and you could actually even see the fairing deploying into the shadow as the shadow of the fairing deploying and it was absolutely brilliant sent gooseys up my spine when i saw that very pretty so enjoy that guys Well, to finish off, I've just got a few comments here from my good mate, Antonio, and just enjoy these things. This guy actually thinks that water is not hydrogen and oxygen. But of course, he doesn't know what it is, but he knows it's not that. 
Well, goodness me, Antonio. Anyway, enjoy these comments, guys. Have a read and a chuckle. Oh, and click and subscribe while you do it. Because they think water is this compound of hydrogen and oxygen. It isn't. It's its own thing. It's its own thing. It's its own thing.